there, ladies and gentlemen. The Food Experience is back with yours truly, KJ Andy O, your host with the most. Today's experience is going to be at Chronic Tacos. I've been meaning to do an experience here, and I'm finally doing it. So today I got the two carne asada tacos with Spanish rice and refried beans. You could customize all your meals here, including what goes on the food, what style rice you want, what style beans you want, that sort of thing. And um, first things first, let's try some of the meat. Carne asada. Definitely nice and tender. Um, has some kind of seasoning on it, like all carne asada does. Really hard to describe it if you're not familiar with it. Let's try the rice. Really good Spanish rice. Has a little bit of seasoning to it, but not much. It's pretty bland. Um, definitely cooked to perfection, though. It's not mushy. It's not hard. Right in between the way it's supposed to be. Let's try the beans. Definitely decent refried beans. Um, they're definitely still warm, and I've had this open for a little while now while getting a photo shoot ready of all the food and everything. Yeah, the beans are refried, but yet there's still some, like, pieces of beans in there, you know? Really good. Now let's move on to the tacos, because it's all about the tacos. With the tacos, I had them add cheese, onions, sour cream, their Baja sauce, which is so good. Oh my God. The Baja sauce is like, yeah, it's fairly spicy. I mean, to most people, it'll be a little bit spicy. Some people will be really spicy. For me, it's just like, eh, so, so spicy. So here's a look at one of the tacos. They put a decent amount of beef in there. There's onions, sour cream. I see the Baja sauce. I didn't do cilantro. I'm not really a fan of cilantro. I could take it or leave it, but I left it this time. So let's go ahead and tear in. Oh, that's good. I had them use corn tortillas. That's another customizable option. You could choose flour or corn. And I went with corn. I think the shells with corn just are a little bit tastier. Flour is just so bland, you know. Oh, yeah, I got the sour cream that time. The shells are still soft, but you can tell they've been grilled. The beef is perfect. It's tender. I've had more tender, but it's definitely not bad for something that's like mass produced, you know? Sour cream is great. The Baja sauce. It's almost like a ranch based type of thing or something with some spices. I mean, it definitely leaves me a little bit tingly. Just not a lot. They use two shells as they should. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and introduce some rice and a little bit of beans to the taco. Kind of makes it like a burrito, doesn't it? Except it's open. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to have to get one of the burritos one day. I haven't tried a burrito from here. Some stray meat there. Beef. It's what's for dinner. And I also love that they have the freestyle Coke machines. So I was able to make a combination of flavors. And I chose mellow yellow and cherry. You can see it's cherry. That is a good drink right there. Add some alcohol. And wow, that would really be something. But I wouldn't be in my car then. Yeah, really a great taco, folks. I believe the whole plate without the drink was around seven bucks. Definitely worth it in my opinion. And the pieces of carne asada, they're pretty big. It's not chopped up finely like it is at some places. 
and it's not too coarse. I've seen it where it's like too much, too thick. This is just perfect. I walked into the restaurant. There was another couple in there. Got their employees behind the counter wearing the face masks. That's a new in-style thing right now, those face masks, you know? <laughs> of course, I had a face mask on. You have to or they will not serve you. Just how it is right now in these times of the unpleasantness. Boy, that is good. I also had them add their uh, salsa rojo. It's a red sauce. They say it's spicy. It's really not that spicy. Their nachos definitely kick some ass. They're really, really good. Um, I've also had their chicken soft tacos. And um, with the nachos, I've had chicken. I've had steak. Either case, they're really good. They give you a lot of food. And for a decent price. I mean, not expensive, but not cheap either, you know? It's definitely no Taco Bell or anything like that. It's definitely many steps above that as far as I'm concerned. So I've been coming to Chronic Tacos a little bit more than a year now. Um, I try to make it like, you know, once every couple weeks I go here. Definitely good food. If you have a Chronic Tacos in your area, I highly recommend checking them out if you have not checked them out. Definitely good stuff. Uh, for something that's a chain, it's not even too big of a chain. But um, there's enough of them out there that hopefully someone will be able to take something from this review, you know. So go check it out if you have one near you. Um, the place was clean. It always is pretty immaculate when I go in there. Employees are friendly. One guy was kind of joking and stuff. Um, food is always so fresh. I really don't have any cons. There's nothing I could think about with this food that I could bag on. I mean, it's all really good. So go check it out at Chronic Tacos. Other than that, I'm going to buzz out of here because I want to finish my meal in peace. So that being said, thanks so much for watching. And if you like what you see here, please like, comment, and subscribe. With that said, have a stellar day. Be excellent to each other. And most of all, remember me. I am KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Take care, my fine folks, and I'll see you next time. Peace.